Jesus Christ is the cornerstone. He's also the cornerstone of our faith. And He's the cornerstone on which the will of God in our own lives is fulfilled. He was on mission from the time of 12. He said, I've got to be about my Father's business. We're called also to the Father's business. I want to pray for people that you'll be inspired during a few days in Israel to be more than ever committed to serving Jesus, to the mission of Christ, to telling those around and about you, to declaring through your very life that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is the cornerstone on which life itself is built, our current, our past, but mostly our future in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we pray together? Lord, I just thank you one more time for the cornerstone. We thank you, Jesus, for all that means in our lives. Lord, this this structure was built on a cornerstone. That, Lord, there's a cornerstone that's a firm foundation that cannot be destroyed, that cannot be devastated. His name is Jesus. Lord, we just thank you that we're called for the mission of Christ, the great co-mission, that we are in this together to reach our world, to go and to teach and to tell and to witness and to tell those through our own lives that Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, we just thank you in your precious name. Even now, in this place, we believe again the work of Jesus in people's hearts. Lord, for miracles and blessing and answers to prayer. Father, I pray that people will be getting words from heaven. Lord, that you'll be dropping things into people's spirit about their own home and their own family and their own future and their own hope. So we thank you for it now in your precious name, Lord. Amen, amen, amen.